Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a couple of reviews. Uh, so the first one I'm going to do is on hair chalk. So I've tried two different kinds of hair chalk so far. Um, and I was going to do a tutorial, but so far I haven't been in love with either kind. So I'm trying to wait until I find a kind that I really, really like to do a tutorial with it. Uh, so, but the first, um, the first brand of hair chalk that I tried was called Hair Artist. And I got it from the Sortilles for maybe like... I'm going to say like $3 a piece, maybe four, um, and I got it in hot pink and like a teal, and so both of those are already used up, so I can't show them to you, but part of the reason they're all used up is because they crumble so much, um, they're literally in the shape of like a normal chalk, like in a stick, um, and you literally rub them on your hair, and one technique I will tell you that's good for hair chalking is if you twist your hair and you run it up and down because the twist makes like a t uh, texture that attaches the chalk more. Um, but, so those colors were decent. The blue one, like the teal, it looked really good when I first put it on and I really liked that color of my hair, but it faded throughout the day a lot. Um, it like just kind of from falling off, I think. But the hot pink, um, the color payoff was way better. It was like really, really bright and it stayed in more than a day, <laughs> um, which wasn't awful. Um, yeah, and neither of those got on my clothes, so that's one thing I really liked about that brand. Um, a lot of hair chalks I've read from my research, um, they'll get on your clothes like when you're wearing them throughout the day, and that is just not fun. So I was really glad about that. Um, and I actually got them so I could wear them to a like rave type thing my school was having, and they stayed in all throughout that, so that was really good. And the other brand that I have tried is this brand uh, that I got from CVS. It was like $6.99, which I thought was pretty expensive for a piece of or not a piece of but hair chalk. Um, it's from the uh, brand Splat, which I know a lot of people get like hair dye from. Um, and it says color highlights for the day, hair chalk. And this is in the color Dusty Rose. So um, what comes in the package is just this. So for $7.99, you are just getting this. And it comes with this little thing of hair chalk <laughs> and this uh, little spongy thing and what it says is that um, if you're using the hair chalk if you just want to do your ends or, like streak you take it and you kind of like run it through your hair like that pressing it into it so that it gets on the hair but if you're trying to put it like make it look like it's a highlight like all the way through your roots you take it and you like dab it with this on the roots um, so this hair chalk let me see if I can, if you can see it it has some shimmer in it I can't really tell um, so it's a pretty color. It's a little bit more light than the color I used. Um, I don't know how I felt about the sparkle. At first I thought maybe it would just kind of make your hair look like less dry because chalk is, you know, drying to your hair. Um, so, but this is from one use. Is, this is how much it's gone. And I did the chalk like from here down. And it did look really good. It did stay on decently throughout the day, but it got all over my chest throughout the day. It got all over my shirt. I was wearing a black shirt, or not a black shirt, like a dark blue shirt. And like, People could be like, why is your chest sparkly and pink? And then they'd be like, oh, I guess your hair. Um, so it was a decent brand. Like, I didn't dislike it. Um, maybe if I was wearing the color pink, it would have worked out better wearing it. Um, but so that this this wasn't my favorite, especially. I don't like how I paid like $6.99 for something this big that does not last you very long at all. Um, so to go along with the whole hair thing and the hair chalking thing, I was a little foolish and <laughs> I did not wash the hair chalk out of my hair the night I put it in and I did it two times within like three days and I left it in for like two days each. <laughs> um, you're supposed to kind of wash it out that night because it'll get on your bed maybe um, and also because hair chalk is drying to your hair, it's a powder, it's going to soak up the oils um, and especially because I was only putting it on my ends. Um, so I got a little bit of payback for that for my hair. Um, you can see like my hair is decently long and my ends got pretty dry from like here down it was really gross and I have naturally um straight hair and I've never dyed it or anything um so I've never been used to like hair damage because I don't use like heat on it very often either uh and I just felt like my hair was so damaged and I was so upset about it so I wanted to fix it right away um so I wanted to get a deep conditioner like that was leave-in for my hair um, and I happened to be at Ocean State Job Lot, which I'd never been to before, and they actually had some decent stuff, uh, so if you've never been to one and you've been thinking about it, stop by Ocean State Job Lot. Um, so I picked up this Salon La Coupe Replenish Mask, um, it says Intensive Repair Treatment, 
um, to, for dry, damaged, or overprocessed hair. So this is what the package looks like. I have never heard of this brand. I've never seen this before. But it was like a dollar, two dollars. So I was like, I'm getting this. Um, and basically it says, well, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but if you want to see, it's this cream. And it's just kind of like, kind of like body butter almost, but not quite as thick. And it smells, I just got it on me. It smells like, it smells like showers kind of. I don't know. If that sounds, I know it sounds weird, but just kind of like a light, fruity, like, scent. It's a bit decent scent. It's not my favorite. Um, but so I have used this now twice, and I could already tell a difference in my hair. I could tell a difference after one use, and that might be because, be because I wasn't, you know, my hair wasn't damaged prior to using it. It was just dried out from chalk, so it might have been just really easy. But I mean, I recommend that product if you have dried out hair. I can't tell you about, you know, how dried out hair that's been damaged from coloring or from... Um, what's it called, are from like heat, but if your hair is just dry and it's not normally dry, I think that product will help. <laughs> I don't know, so I basically just like take it and I put it up to about here in my hair. It says to put it up to the root, but I don't know, I just didn't, I felt like it was going to make my hair look greasy and I just didn't want to want to go there. So, um, and then my last product that I have to review for you is a mascara. Um, this is the Tarte my Lights Camera Lashes Clinically Proven Mascara. So it looks like this. So this little pattern on it. Um, this is actually my mom bought at Sephora. They have like that set where you get like 12 or 20 or something like that mascaras for um, a pretty decent price. And there, a lot of them are sample size and some of them are full size. So I told her that I needed more mascara. Um, and she sent me this to try. Um, and this is what the brush looks like. Um, I, this is like the black one. I don't know what they call it. I don't know if they have like a special name. Um, so this mascara is not my favorite. Um, I usually use, oh no, I can't. I think it's the Great Lashes. You know the one I think it's from Maybelline or CoverGirl? It's like the orange one. It's kind of clunky. That's my normal mascara. I really, really like that. Um, but I just, I'm in college and I like to buy my own things because I don't want to ask my parents to buy me things. Um, so I usually buy my own makeup, my own groceries and stuff, and I just don't want to pay like almost nine dollars <laughs> to get mascara when I could get something cheaper um, while I'm here so I last time bought the great lash which is that one that's that like the green top and the pink bottom and that one's just not that great um, and this one is not super awesome either um, I mean it does work like it doesn't flake off it doesn't get really clumpy but it's almost like underwhelming like I feel like it reminds me of the Clinique mascaras that I don't really like there's kind of like a layer on your eyelashes and that's that. Um, I do use this with, I've shown in an earlier video, Dream Lash, which is like a fiber. You put on your lashes that makes them a little longer. Um, and it does work decently well, but I'm just not, not super impressed with this. Um, so that is all I have to review for today. Uh, let me know if you guys have any comments, requests, suggestions, what you guys think. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you liked this at all. I will be coming out with better videos over the summer. Um, and hit the like button if you liked this. And leave me a comment to tell me what you think or just to say hi because that's really nice too. Uh, this is just kind of a casual video. So I'm <laughs> this is the shirt I wore like to brunch this morning. I haven't really changed. You can tell like my hair is done. But I hope you guys didn't mind. Uh, so yeah, it's been awesome spending this time with you guys. And I will see you in the next video.